Hey mi gente, it's Graciela and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime routine and I'm going to be showing you my curly routine pretty much. Um, how I wash my hair, what products do I use and things like that. So let's just get started into this video. The first thing I'm going to be doing is of course turn on the shower and get myself ready to get in the showers and yep. Yeah. So unfortunately my camera died on me and I just went ahead and showered and washed my hair. I'm going to be showing you guys the product that I use to wash my hair which is the Keratin Protein. And I use the shampoo and conditioner because I was recommended to use the deep conditioner which is also this hair mask. And I decided to just go with the whole collection. And the reason why is because I felt as if if this works, then I'm guessing the shampoo and the conditioner will work in my hair. I've been using it for about a week or two. And I saw a lot of improvements in my curls. And I am very, very happy. My curls are coming back to life. I started it about six months ago and unfortunately I bleached it and I had my hair red for a little while not even that long and then I dyed it back to this color that I have it now black and my curls dropped so now I'm like repairing it because since my curls dropped I I want it back to how it was before because before I even dyed it my curls were coming along like perfectly and once I dyed it and I did all that stuff that I did to my hair it just damaged it so some girl from Instagram she recommended me to use this hair mask and I've been using it twice a week you can use it once a week or twice a week depending on how damaged your hair is I use it twice a week because I want to see better results in my hair and it has been doing great this little packet is about like three uses um my hair isn't as long it's probably like up to here and isn't like really really full so this really covers for like three times of use um maybe if you have longer hair then it'll probably though you'll probably be able to use two of these but since I was recommended this, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get the shampoo and conditioner. And let me tell you, it's been doing wonders in my hair. And I'm going to be explaining to you how to wash your hair. Um, this was taught of someone that did my hair and also doing a lot of research and things like that. Um, shampoo. When you are shampooing your hair, you have to make sure that you want to wash your scalp. Your scalp is very important. You know you have a lot of dust. It be stinking a lot. So you want to wash your scalp very good. Whatever access that you have from the shampoo that's on your scalp, you can drag it down to your ends. You don't really want to put so much shampoo on the ends because you don't want to strip your hair. Um, you know, the vitamins that it gets. Because my hair tends to get really oily. So you don't want your hair to start getting dry because of so much shampoo so that's what you really need to do just make sure that you wash your scalp a lot and whatever access of foam that you have from the shampoo on your hair just drag it down and you know kind of rinse it out the conditioner wise um i also was taught this when you are about to apply conditioner you only want to apply conditioner on like an inch away from your scalp and down and the reason why is because since your hair produces so much oil and you know it's more nurturing for your whole hair you don't really want to strip it with conditioner conditioner is more of a softening uh, to soften your curls you know soften your hair especially when it's been very dry but your your scalp is not dry because normally after a few days your hair starts to get really oily well for mine I don't know about you guys but um, if you have curly hair but if you have that your scalp is dry 
then put conditioner on your scalp. But most of the time, if your hair is oily, you don't have to put conditioner in your scalp. And I'm telling you this because I learned it. I really learned it. So these are the two products that I use. Um, I love this. Like I've been sticking to this for about like two weeks almost. And I'm really liking the results. Um, I wash my hair twice a week. And um, yeah. So then I do the hair mask. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this hair mask. I already washed my hair and everything. Um, you want to make sure that you have your hair very damp. And the reason why, because you, when you put it on, you don't want to have dry hair and putting on the keratin on your hair, it ain't going to work. So I just like to kind of spread out my hair. And then I'm going to open this. So I'm going to grab so far this much. Okay. And then drag it down. So you also want to grab and put them all around the hair, okay? This is a deep conditioner which means it's going to help your whole scalp and everything. After I put it all around my hair, then I'm going to put my cap on, which is this one here. So you're going to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you're going to rinse your hair out. And then once the 15 minutes is up, I'll be back and continue the process. So now I left it on for 15 minutes and I'm going to be rinsing my hair right now. Grab a towel 
and just scrunch your hair. So now that my hair is washed, you can run your ha your hands through your hair. Like my hair is still full. Run your hands through your hair. Now that my hair is actually nice and washed, we're going to start putting products in our hair, but not too much. I can't have this towel on me. So the first product that I love that I'm going to be using today is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. This cream is super amazing it doesn't have too much chemicals in it at all and it's super great for the hair you want to start with this much and I'm going to separate my hair into two I'm just going to run it through my hair. Next one that I like to use is this one right here. My last thing that I'm going to use, and that's it, so for this you want to flip your hair over because we're only scrunching it up.
if you feel like your hair is not damped, go ahead and wet it. You're supposed to hear a crunching sound, just like this. And like this. This is how you're supposed to have your hair. And making sure that it is crunchy, that you hear that crunching sound. That little squeak sound, like it's wet, like that. Now I'll be back with my hair curly. And yeah. And this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. My curls are still in process, so this is not the fully curls that I had before I dyed my hair and things like that. But it's coming along. If you guys want to see my next video on how I blow dry it and things like that, please stay tuned. Rather than that, thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below on what you guys thought of this video. Also, turn on that notification button so you guys can be alerted of more of my videos. And until next time, besitos, adios.